Well, welcome back again. We're in the final 10th video of our series. This is the last one. And when you're at the end, last thing you need to do on a project is print. And that's what we're gonna be talking about. Again, I'm Sam Hendrick, Bentley Systems, and we're here to talk about MicroStation Connect Edition. In this last and final video, we're gonna talk about printing. We're gonna talk about printing from a design model using a fence. We're gonna talk about printing from a sheet model. We'll also talk about how to print at any scale from any drawing. That's really a handy thing to do during the work progress. And then the end, what we're gonna talk about is how to print from a 3D model, a 3D PDF. And your plus one, you'll see where it's at in the bottom, the three quarter point. You're gonna see where we can actually create a PDF that has levels in it. So you could turn those levels on and off in the PDF. So hope you've enjoyed this series. And if there's anything you'd like to see in these videos, Go ahead and put some comments down below and let us know what you'd like to see or what you want me to talk about. Enjoy. In this video, we're going to be talking about printing. The first thing we're going to talk about is printing from a fence in MicroStation. So we're going to open up this file right here. Now it's very common in the MicroStation community to enlarge your border around your project. Some other CAD software, what they do is they shrink the project to fit inside a paper. We can do that, but that's not normally the way we go about doing it. As you can see here, our border is 1,700 feet by 1,100 feet. We plan to print this on a D-sized piece of paper, which means this is going to be a 50-foot scale drawing. So we're first going to demonstrate how we can print from a fence. So I'm going to come up here to my Home tab. I'm going to go to my Selection group, and I'm going to go to Place Fence. And the fence I'm going to place is fence type block. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a corner, one corner, and I'm going to go to the opposite corner. Now I have a fence. Now I'm going to go to my print dialog. And I'm going to come up to my quick access toolbar up here. You can see where it says print and then the shortcut is control P like most Windows programs. That's how I'm going to do it from this point forward. So I'm going to click on the icon. What you're going to see is the print dialog. Now first thing up here is your print driver and this is set to a PDF with levels on. Now we ship with MicroStation PDF plot drivers. You don't need Adobe Acrobat or anything else. MicroStation has built in the ability to create a PDF. Now I've edited this one to include the ability to turn on levels in the PDF. So that's why it says PDF dash levels on. Below that is my paper size. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose ANSI D. Below that is the area. Now I placed a fence. I'm going to click here and you're going to see there's two other options. There's view and there's sheet. Now view would appear if I did not place a fence. Normally we print by fence or by sheet. So I'm going to choose fence. Below this, I can use true color or I can set it to, if I wanted to, grayscale. And then I want to maximize here, have it fill my preview window here. And when I do that, you can see the scale comes out to 50 or one inch equals 50 feet. And my paper size is 34 by 22, which is a standard ANSI D. So at this point, I've told it the plot driver, the paper size, I adjusted my color, and now we have scale of 50. I'm gonna go ahead and hit print to file. Comes up and asks me where would I like to create my PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the default location for me is the out folder. All right, it says it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that folder and there's my PDF. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna double click. And in this case, Adobe Acrobat Pro is my default. You can use any program that supports opening up a PDF. In this case, I have Adobe Acrobat Pro. I could use the free reader to do exactly what I'm about to do. As I mentioned, I output the ability to turn on and off levels. If that was not on, the PDF would not give me this option. On the left-hand side here, I have layers. If you don't see this available, you can then right-click and turn it on. I'm gonna click on Layers. Then I see the Adobe Eyeball in a greater than symbol. I expand that, I expand that, and then I see all the different levels. So now I can just turn them on and off as I want to. So for example, if I wanted to turn off existing roadway, 
you can see I've turned that off. And then I could print with that turned off. So that's creating a PDF and the ability to turn on and off levels inside the PDF. So we're gonna go ahead and close the Adobe Acrobat. Come back to MicroStation. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna print from a sheet model. So we're gonna to go to File Open. The second file in my folder is O2, Printing from Sheet Model. I'm gonna open that up. And you'll notice my print dialog remains open between closing one file and opening another. In this case, I'm printing from a sheet model. Now I'm gonna to go to my models dialog located on my primary group under the home tab. And you're going to see that I have two models. One is called default, one's called layout. For AutoCAD users, the default would be equivalent to model space and layout would be equivalent to paper space. So we support the same functionality. The icons indicate this also right here. I'm in the layout or sheet model. I'm gonna close this. Now when I go to print, I, it remembers the ANSI D and you'll notice down here for area, it defaulted to sheet. If I click here, you're gonna see fence is not an option and view is an option. So in this case, it defaults to sheet. So I don't have to place a fence nor do I have to tell it the area in any way. It defaults to that. And then I have the option again for true color, grayscale, or monochrome. So if I choose grayscale, I'll get the same print as I did from the other design file. So that's printing from the design model by placing a fence and also printing from a sheet model. Both, depending upon the way your organization works, are functional within MicroStation. One more thing I wanna show you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close my print dialog. Oftentimes people would like to print out a quick little drawing be able to take it into a meeting so they could talk about it or just to be able to mark it up. They don't want to print the entire thing. They just want to print a specific part of their design. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. You're going to see there's an area right here. If I was interested in printing this, I'm not printing by going to the edges of the border. So how do I determine scale? Well, I can go back to my fence, place fence, and I'm going to go ahead and place an area. Let's say this is the area that I want to print out. I'm gonna to go to my print icon. Now when it comes to area, I'm not gonna print by sheet. What I'm gonna do is print by fence because I placed a fence. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit maximize. And what you're gonna see for scale, it's not a standard scale, it's 13.72. That's not standard, but I would, let's say I would like to have it be a 20 foot scale. So I can just change that to 20, hit the tab key. And now I have a 20 foot equals an inch plot, and I'm gonna be printing that to a D size. So my scale is 20 foot. So that way I can print out in any area I want to and give it a specific scale. So it's not something that's not to scale. So you can see on your drawing, it looks proportional. Just a little tip there on how to do a print of any area and print out to scale. So I wanna go ahead and close this, and we're gonna to go to our next file. This is gonna be exporting a 3D design to a PDF. This is O3 exporting design to 3D PDF. Now upon opening this, you're gonna see this is a 3D model in MicroStation. So you can see I can rotate this around. I'm going to print this to a PDF and I'm gonna make that a 3D PDF. So I'm gonna go back to my fence and I'm gonna place a fence around the area that I want to print. I don't need to, but this helps to constrain the area. Now I'm gonna do a control P, shortcut for the print dialog. And my paper size doesn't really matter at this point, but right down here, you see where it says print to 3D? Well, if I check that, it's gonna create a 3D PDF. And you'll see what I mean when I go ahead and print it out. So we're gonna go ahead and say print to file. It's gonna dump it into my out folder. I could put it any place I wanted to, and I can change the name. I'm just gonna hit save. Okay, it's done printing. Now I'm gonna go back. Here's that file that I just created. I'm gonna open it up. Again, it's just a PDF. And you can see it looks just like it did in the MicroStation file, except it is a 3D model. So if I hold the left button down on my mouse, you're gonna see that I can rotate around. If I hold the left and right button down, I can pan. And if I scroll my wheel, I can zoom in and pan and I can rotate. And one additional bonus item here is I can do sectioning. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I can say show cross section or I'm gonna say show cross section properties. 
Now, if I turn this on, enable cross-section, by default, it's just going to section my Z-axis. So I'm gonna move this over to the side. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. When I enable it, it's sectioned by the Z-axis. Now I can change this, so I can go ahead and either do the Y, or I can do the X, or I can align it to a face. So I'm gonna go ahead and say align to face, and I'm gonna pick, let's say this face right here, and now it's sectioned by that face. You have the option right here for offset orientation. I can go ahead and slide this bar along, and you're going to see it's gonna section along as I move this. So that's kind of a little bonus there. It's kind of cool. Now, nothing special was needed. Just have to have a 3D file and be able to export out. You just need to choose the PDF plot driver that we ship with MicroStation. So hopefully you found this interesting. We'll see you in the next series of videos. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.